wanted to start the show with this today because this is where we ended the show yesterday. Uh, and that was Bill Belichick was to potentially receive the Presidential Medal of Freedom from not the president, but their president, Donald Trump, uh, on Thursday. And we debated whether he should or shouldn't. And we obviously believe that he should not. And I was relieved, Michael, to see him decline. And here's what he had to say. Recently, I was offered the opportunity to receive the Presidential Medal of Freedom, which I was flattered by out of respect for what the honor represents and admiration for prior recipients. Subsequently, the tragic events of last week occurred and the decision has been made not to move forward with the award. Above all, I am an American citizen with great reverence for our nation's values, freedom and democracy. I know I also represent my family and the New England Patriots team. One of the most rewarding things in my professional career took place in 2020, went through the great leadership within our team, conversations about social justice, equality and human rights moved to the forefront and became actions. Continuing those efforts while remaining true to the people, team and country I love outweigh the benefits of any individual award. Bravo, Bill Belichick, for doing the right thing. Uh, I'm going to say it, it's the most important call in the greatest coach of all time's career. Uh, and bravo to whoever wrote that. Whoever wrote those, those, that was very well said, very well put. Uh, you know, it's, it's like so I interesting. Said, Michael, I was just relieved, relieved that he that he did not go through with it. You know, it's it's so interesting that that you say bravo to whoever wrote it, because there was some uh, pushback last night on Twitter, uh, and and a couple of people who I know very well, one who used to work in Washington, uh, in Congress, in the Senate uh, specifically. Who said, hey, what, what does this say? I, I've read this statement 10 or 11 times. What is Bill Belichick trying to say here? And I heard a lot of that last night. And, I, and just wow. reading it again, I have no problem with it. I think what, what a lot of people want, what we're all looking for is the repudiation. Some condemnation. That's what, the, that's what we want. We want, oh, yeah. wait a minute. Don't just, don't just say you're not going and don't just use these yeah. terms. I want you to say... I condemn this yeah. monster in the White House, and he's not going to do that. And yeah, I guess that's, I guess that's why I'm not I'm not upset about the statement because I'm not expecting that. He's he, yeah, he's not going to he's not going to go that deep. Right. Yeah. And here's the other thing, Mike. If he had gone and wrote a beautiful statement, you don't care about the beautiful statement. You're saying, what the hell are you doing going to the White House in this environment? Look, I'm not surprised yeah. that Bill Belichick declined uh, the award. And his trip yeah. to DC, um, and I really, I'm really not even surprised. Than that. Right, and I'm really not surprised that Donald Trump invited him at this time because a true friend doesn't put you in a position to to, to make you look bad. And that would have made yeah. that would have been. I'm going to say this very clearly. I, I know I've been on a hot take streak. This is not a hot take, Mike. I believe this to my core. It would have been the worst decision of Bill Belichick's career if he had gone. <laughs> mm -hmm. If he, oh, no gone, if he had gone That's, to D.C. It, go, it, it goes hand in hand with what I just said. I, th I said it was the most important, the best call of his career because That's it would have been the worst look of his career. I agree with you 100 percent. And he had yep. to be smart enough. He's too smart to misread the room. He's not that tone deaf. He, you know, he's not so out to lunch where he would think it's OK to further. And this is the problem, Michael. Soapbox real quick. Over the last four Come years on. and beyond. I'll prop it up for you. Is like I mean, pump up everybody <laughs> has been complicit. It complicit it, in, in, in mainstream media in corporate America in protecting this president. That's why I keep saying he's not, you know, we've, we've long been saying not my president. He's not the president. He's their president and everything he's done. We've tried to either explain it away or wish it away or rationalize it or act like it wasn't right there before us what he was all about. Now that the ship be sinking. Everybody wants to all of a sudden speak truth to power right when we're about to have a transfer of power. How convenient. Right. And so for him to go and further legitimize and normalize their president by receiving a presidential medal of freedom, which the president pre presenting said medal has right. tarnished. OK, it's like that would have just been so embarrassing. And I go back to what we said yesterday because and this is what I wonder. Because you said yesterday you were surprised that he's a MAGA guy because we referenced the letter that he wrote to Trump on his campaign. 
Right. I, wa I wonder this, Michael, I, and I don't know this. I, I'm, I'm not trying to give Bill Belichick an excuse or an out here, but I wonder two things, and you can and you can answer both with the rest of the time okay. we have in this in this in this block. I wonder two things. Is it possible that while he didn't come out and outright condemn Donald Trump, he has seen the light. Maybe he is, you know, I don't know what his, his a political affiliation is technically, whether he's a registered Republican, but let's just say for purposes of conversation, maybe he's now a reformed Republican or Republican in name only, as they like to say, because even he right. realizes, okay, this is too much. This is too far. So has he seen the light on Donald Trump? Better late than never? Perhaps. That's one. Two, is it a case, Michael, where he's actually telling the truth, Bill Belichick, where he's not connected enough to politics? I'm talking about in the first place. Is he not yeah. connected enough to politics and doesn't pay close enough attention and doesn't give it enough thought? Did he just get caught up in the celebrity of Donald Trump? The, the the even the toxic masculinity of Donald Trump when he didn't he wasn't truly a Trump political ally as much as he was a Trump friend and Trump, and so Trump he friend. was just more yeah yeah he was just more his boy than he was somebody who adhered to and believed everything that Trump espoused because you say yesterday right. I'm surprised given his background given some of the people that he runs with given who he coaches. That who he, he would is, but, be but who he is. a MAGA guy. Who he is? Yeah, but, you but, know him better than anybody. But, but, so take it away. But who he is? Who he is as? Who he is as a thinker? Who he is as someone mm -hmm. who believes in process? Right. Someone. So I wonder if he hasn't devoted in, his right. He, has he not devoted his enough of his attention to educating himself? Maybe the most brilliant coach in NFL history is ignorant when it comes to politics. I, I, again, just spitballing. Well, I would say I would say with with Donald Trump. The reason they were friends goes back to the you know Jersey day when he was with the with the Giants and uh, with the Jets mm -hmm. and like a lot of people a lot of people who were friendly with Donald Trump before he got into politics uh, and even he was doing his crazy things then nobody ever imagined he'd be the president of the United States I mean if you're watching The Apprentice in 2012 or 13 you're not thinking that hey, this guy who's saying you're fired is going to be the president of the United States within three years some people when he started running for office and saying what he said, said, okay, I, I'm done. And others didn't. And Bill Belichick didn't. But I, I got to say, this, this was a no-brainer to me for Bill Belichick. Oh, of course. You remember yes. uh, the, 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 fight, the fight scene uh, in, in Black Panther where I, I think it was, uh, there was one scene where it was, it said, would you, would you pick would you pick Wakanda over me, my love? Remember that? Remember that scene? Oh, Would you yeah. pick Wakanda over me? <laughs> yeah, without question. Wakanda forever. She, she, said, she said, without question. Put that spear yeah. in his face. Without yeah. question. Without question. Yeah. Yeah. Bill Belichick, more than Donald Trump, more than the NFL, more than anything, it's going to be about country. I mean, the guy grew up right down the street. He, he grew up in a military family. He grew up like 30, 30, like 35 miles away from the White House, from the Capitol. He was, but he, he, so some people on their playground, some people go to playgrounds. His playground was a Naval Academy. He's all about that life. He believes in it. He believes in it all the way. He may, but Michael, there are a lot of people who, who have that kind of background who are Trumpers. But they don't believe I'm in it. I'm not saying that. But they, they don't, don't believe, believe in it. Donald... So I'm saying yeah, they do. They have that background. But they don't believe in democracy. He has the background. He knows what democracy is. See, he but recognizes no, no, Michael, here's the problem. Threat. Oh, well, hold on. But, I, but here's the problem. Talk about the others this, for a this second. Is how, this is, no, but this side has been corrupted. Mike, I hear what you're saying. There are people who, fit, who check those boxes just like Bill Belichick who think they're on the side of right right now, who do believe in democracy, just a perverted definition of democracy, and who do support Donald Trump, even though they believe in all the values that America and the military and this well, country is supposed to okay. represent. So I'm, that, I'm, that, I'm just saying this to me. It's not that he loves his country so much. I thought you were going to go here. It was common sense from a from a brand and a PR standpoint as the head coach of the Patriots that this ain't a good look partner. Okay, sure. But look, you talk about those other people. They're they're on the not only are they on the wrong side of history. 
They don't have anything to back them up. They don't have anything to back them up to say, this is how democracy works. Uh, democracy doesn't work this way. If you got 81, 81 million people who have voted for one candidate and 74, 75 for another, the, the winner goes to the, the higher amount. But also, this is, where, this is where the Bill Belichick process comes in too. So you think about uh, democracy and then you think about common sense. Because what he does better than anybody else is just take a, a mass of information mm -hmm. and then break it down to digestible bites to give mm -hmm. to you. That, that's what he does with his team all the time. He's a teacher. I'll take the mass. He's a teacher. Yeah. I'll take the mass and I, who, 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 who. So that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the maternal side, right? So that's the, mater so, uh, that's his, that's that's the right. maternal side well, of it, both right? Both of them. Because the, the his mom's a teacher mom's and his dad's a teacher, a teacher yeah. too, essentially. Yeah, yeah. But... If you think if you're if you're Belichick, I'll say this quickly, and then we, then we uh, then we can uh, get out of here. So if you're Belichick, you're looking at the information. You say, "All right, Donald Trump says the election was stolen from him. He went to the U.S. Supreme Court, which leans to the right, with some of his appointees. They didn't agree with him. Mm -hmm. He went to Bill Barr, a guy who has done everything else for him. He didn't his agree hired with thug. him. His hired he thug. His hired thug. He went to Bill Republicans. Barr. He went to Republicans, a Republican governor that he rode with, a, a Republican secretary of state in Georgia. They didn't agree with him. Right. And uh, his cabinet members are fleeing. His vice yep. president his vice said, president. I ain't yeah, down with same. it. <laughs> right. His vice president ain't okay. even with him no more. Yeah. So why yeah. would I? Why would I put myself out there? Why would I go there? into that hornet's you're not, nest? You're not going to use me as a prop, says Bill Belichick. No, 100%. Your people, you're right. I mean, it's just... Point yeah. even, your people ain't with you. Why should I do yeah. it? Yeah, no, no question. It was common no, sense. No question. I'm about not going there. It was common sense, but not, and 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 so it's, I, I don't want to give him credit for doing what was obvious, but it was a relief. And just to your point about how democracy works, Michael, when you traffic in voter suppression for the history of your existence, a free and fair election does feel like fraud to you. Hey, thanks for watching Brother From Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.